Okay, so now um, we know how to find the Nash equilibrium or Bayesian Nash equilibrium of an extensive form game with incomplete information. However, remember Nash equilibrium is not a good predictor of an extensive form games because uh, it is good to analyze uh, simultaneous move games, not extensive form games. Remember the idea of non-credible threats. Uh, so when a game is, is, is extensive, in fact, there are a lot of uh, Nash equilibria and only very few of them are sort of uh, a satisfying a nice property that we learned, uh, sequential rationality. Remember this term, sequential rationality. If you do not remember it, please go back to our lecture videos and review this concept because it's very, very important. Remember the idea of sequential rationality is like in every subgame of the game, whether this subgame is reached or not, players should be choosing optimal strategies. The Nash equilibrium ignores this because the Nash equilibrium only, only looks at what uh, only looks at sort of the sub-games that will be uh, reached according to the strategy profile. It does not consider what happens uh, in other sub-games. But sub-game perfect Nash equilibrium or sequential rationality says, well, you should also worry about those other sub-games because in other sub-games, you may be uh, sort of threatening your opponent by playing something stupid or something non-credible, but in fact, these are non-credible. So that means you will actually not play those strategies. And so your opponents shouldn't be really worried about those, you know, ab absurd uh, or sort of uh, nonsensical strategies. And hence, you see what I mean? So um, your, your, your strategy profile should satisfy sequential rationality. And so that idea reduces the number of equilibrium uh, a lot. Uh, so in this game, uh, yes, we know how to find Nash or Bayesian Nash equilibrium, but probably there's going to be a lot of them and, and some of them will be not reasonable or meaningful. So can we find the subgame perfect Nash equilibrium of this game? Or, I mean, remember, Nash equilibrium, I'm sorry, Bayesian Nash equilibrium, Bayesian Nash equilibrium was the equivalent of Nash equilibrium in incomplete info games. But what is the equivalent version of the uh, uh, subgame perfect Nash equilibrium uh, when there is incomplete information that we haven't learned yet? Well, before we learn the equivalence of SPNE in on, on their incomplete information, uh, let's see what subgames we have in this game. Uh, well, the entire game is a subgame, right? But it's not an interesting uh, subgame. We need to look at the proper subgame, the subgames uh, that are uh, starting from a decision note, which is not the initial decision note. So here, the initial decision note is the nature's decision note. All right, again, we treat it sometimes like it is a player but actually it is not a player. And so when we try best responses, we never sort of worry about what the nature's choice is gonna be because nature is not a player. All right, but nevertheless, this entire game, the decision node is the, uh, uh, the initial decision node. So here, how many proper subgames do we have? Is this a subgame, a proper subgame? No, why? Well, because it breaks Firm 2's information set. So it cannot be a subgame. Bad news. All right. What about, well, with exactly the same logic, this is not a subgame. This is not a subgame. All right. Well, what about this? I start from Firm 1's decision note. Good. And then, but the thing is, I have to include all the branches that follows this decision note. So one branch is this, the other branch is this. So very good. I follow that, but you know what? This time I, I'm, I'm breaking this info set and I cannot include this info set because those branches are originated from a completely different decision node. You see? So this is not a subgame either. Well, with exactly the similar logic, this is not a subgame either. So what does that mean? That means in this extensive form game, there is no, there is no proper subgame. In fact, 
whenever we have incomplete information gain, we will almost never, I mean, in some sort of interesting uh, games, we may have some proper subgames, but most of the times we will never have a proper subgame. All right. Um, so what does that mean? That means SPNE and Nash equilibrium is the same thing. Remember, the subgame perfect Nash equilibrium uh, forces me to find the optimal Nash equilibrium strategies at every subgame. But there is no subgame other than the game itself. So that means every Nash equilibrium is also subgame perfect Nash equilibrium. So what does that mean? That means this idea of sequential rationality, uh, I cannot even use it. All right, in, in these games, or at least in this game. So what am I going to do? Well, remember, I wanted to I want to find an equivalence of SPNE in incomplete information games. So therefore, uh, this idea of subgame is not going to be helping me. So I need to find another way of incorporating this sequential rationality. And this is exactly what we are going to do in our next uh, solution concept, which is what we call. Uh, uh, Bayesian perfect. Uh, sometimes we call it, sometimes we don't, Nash equilibrium. And to be honest, I usually call it uh, BPE. Uh, by the way, sometimes we call it PBE, perfect Bayesian Nash equilibrium. Or BPE, uh, I don't mind to be honest which one is which. So whether the perfect is first or the Bayesian is first. I don't mind, but this is what we're going to know, uh, learn next.